What's up guys? Welcome back to the hangar. Uh, decided that uh, I'm going to get as much work done on the laser as humanly possible during the week. Um, I'm about to lose all my weekends here. Um, I just got some rentals I need to take care of at home. So while I've got the time during the week, I am going to do the plain stuff during the week because I want to have this flyable by springtime. Now I still have to register it and there's a huge backlog, uh, backlog of um, planes in the registry. So it's going to take a while. Uh, I know people who are waiting, been waiting for their uh, certificate of registration for over a year. So if this is able and ready to fly in springtime, great. If not, well, I'll have a little bit more time to either work on it or wait for the C of R to come. Um, other than that, I've got my nice little uh, shop light there. And yeah, so it get, it's getting darker earlier here uh, now, but it's with the shop lights and the lights in my truck and everything like that, it's not going to be too bad. I don't have hangar lights. Come on, Warner, get with the program. But uh, I do have power. So these shop lights, they're handy. It's battery powered as well as I can plug it in so I, it can run on uh, uh, the provided power. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get to it here. The plan today is to get at least the new fuel lines ran, uh, run. I've got them right here and so I will get all the new fuel lines run and hopefully get the new uh, get the throttle linkages hooked up if I can get that done today sweet if not well I have tomorrow and the rest of the week um, but yeah I'm about to lose all my my weekends this last weekend was Canadian Thanksgiving happy Thanksgiving to my Canadian friends and family this next weekend I've got, like I said, I've got rentals in my house to do. We just bought a house and we have baby number two coming early December. So I got to get the baby's room done. I got to get the basement floor. So I had some heaved areas. It was built in 1979, so there are bound to be a few problems. But uh, as, as far as everything else goes, the house is great. But I uh, have some things to finish up. I have the basement floor to finish. I have a bedroom to do flooring, paint, and trim. And then the baby's room just needs basically trim and the crib built. But uh, yeah, it, so it's going to be a long, arduous prog project with the house. So that's why I'm out here on a weekday. Uh, my wife gave me permission. Thanks, babe. Love you. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put the camera down. Um, I'm going to probably time lapse this. Um, and then we'll talk about it once I've uh, got a couple things connected here. But yeah. Hang with me, it's gonna be fun.
All right, guys. Um, turns out, as per usual, I don't have the right tools to mount the throttle linkages. I'll show you guys what we're dealing with here. So, um, hopefully this is going to be decent. Here, let me just grab my trusty little light here. So that little hole right there, that is where this linkage connects to. Now, um, these donor engines actually have this plate on the front. My old engines did not, and it actually screwed in to the top. I don't know if you can see that. You can see some threads in there. Um, it screwed into the top, and then the linkage came through and connected to the carburetor. However, my old linkages, which is what I'm going to try and use, um, the one that's right there, comes up. Uh, I'm gonna have to replace this sheath too. It's all buggered up in a lot of places. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be a trick to do. Um, I'm, gonna I'm gonna find some better sleeves. Um, probably end up just going with a sleeve that will just wrap around it and I don't have to worry about uh, feeding it through and then you know how these I don't even know what they called but what they're called but they're, you know those uh, little finger handcuffs things you put your fingers in you stretch them out you can't you can't get your finger out that's what this feels like <laughs> um, so that's what I don't want to do but uh, if I have to do it fine but it'll be easier just to find a sheath that will just wrap around um, and keep everything in line and then the clips on the side of the engines there that one's pretty dark but I hope you can see it uh, they hold everything in line and so everything will be bundled up with the fuel line I just wanted to get the fuel lines in the filters on and all that jazz oh a couple of you guys wanted to know this so let me flip this back over here so, so I can do it um, in my TikTok video, um, a couple people mentioned that they heard a hissing sound, and that's not good when you're turning the crank. Actually, it is good, because Rotax 185s have that little doohickey on the side. That is a compression release. So it's pushed in right now, which means it is released, pull it, and it is on. So I turn this now. Oy, I can hardly turn it. Oy, ah. Ah. So it's got really good compression. Oy, ah. Gee whiz. Um, easier to turn with the prop, obviously, but that's what a compression release does. So it makes it easier. If I pull the pull string here, ah. it's very hard to turn or pull the pull starter when it's engaged. Push that compression release in and it makes it easier to start because it's easier to pull. See that? That's what that hissing is. And when the engine fires, it automatically shoots this out if it's lubricated well enough. These ones are nice and nice and loose. The other ones on my other, the other engines, not so much. Um, but if they don't fully engage, uh, I'm sitting down there, I can easily just reach up and just pull that out, all the while being careful of the prop not to get uh, shredded. My wife wouldn't like that. But yeah, that's it for me tonight, guys. Um, yeah, stay safe, stay happy. See you next time.